It's that time, everyone. No, oh, no, Madonna? no, 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 no yeah. more sugar for you. No more sugar for you. you we need to swap continuing. out your sugar. I won't do it. Girl has to have some fun in life. We're continuing a new you in 22. Uh, we're going to have simple food swaps based on sugar here to help us eliminate Orion, eliminate sugar from his diet as the author of The Sugar Brain Fix, Dr. Mike Dow. Good morning. Good morning. Let's get that sugar out of your life, uh, yeah, listen, Kelly lives for it. It is what she has for dinner, and uh, we need to get her to we need to get her to come over to the other side. So yeah. let's start let's start at the beginning of the day. Breakfast. What can we swap out for breakfast? So instead of that mocha that contains a whopping fifty six grams of sugar, I want you to take a coffee, Americana, and just have one tablespoon, not of milk, but of cream. And this is really incredible because if you have that coffee at, let's say, 8 a.m., you didn't eat since 6 p.m. the next day, you may be accidentally be practicing intermittent fasting without even realizing it. So you're cutting sugar. Maybe you're going to accidentally practice some intermittent fasting, as I do, and that can save you a lot of sugar. And then when you have that breakfast, maybe, let's say, a few hours later, so you're still fasting, instead of the pancakes that have a whopping 41 grams of sugar, check out my sugar-free banana walnut pancakes. No sugar, mm -hmm. the same ingredients, Greek yogurt, and then either almond or coconut flour. And then the syrup, you want to look for monk fruit sweetened syrup. It's usually next to the pancakes in that aisle. It is absolutely delicious. I'm still fixated on 6 p.m. finishing dinner the night before. <laughs> it's hard. What about, it's hard. what about the 11 p.m. snack of cereal? Well, then we're starting the clock over, so then you're going to have that coffee at noon, Kelly, but I know your day is finished by then. So. <laughs> All right, take us so, to okay, lunch what about, now. What about lunch? Yeah, get us, yeah, get so, us into lunch. So most people think Chinese chicken salad. That sounds healthy, right? Guess what? At one chain, the Chinese chicken salad has more sugar than the cheeseburger and fries, 39, 39 grams of sugar. So instead, I want you to order a Caesar salad with chicken, salmon, a cob is also great, and most of the sugar is in the dressing. So here are my four go-tos at any restaurant. I want you to ask for vinegar, oil, a wedge of lemon, and pepper. And when you douse the salad with these four things, mm, flavorful, no sugar. And then, as we're looking for maybe kid-friendly lunch, or Kelly, last time I was on, I know Mark Consuelos loved this swap, so I wanted to demo it for you. Instead of the PB&J, listen, PB&J, those are sugar bombs. Jelly, jam, sugar. White bread, even wheat bread, sugar. What I'm using is a keto bread, and look at this. I actually take the raspberries, and I mash them up with a knife, and that becomes the, quote, jelly. I'm using a no-sugar added almond butter. Here's my tip for bread. Look for breads not in the bread aisle, but in the refrigerated section. You can look for sprouted breads. Those are better for you. Keto breads are the low-carb breads. And it actually tastes, it has that, like, you know, that Wonder Bread, that really squishy consistency. These breads have that, too. So it's just awesome. Hey, Dr. Mike, be, be careful. That's the last thing Kelly sees before she goes to bed when her husband's home. <laughs> 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 uh, let's talk about snacks, snacks, right? Yeah. Snacks. So these are my favorite. These are my new jam. Sea salt chickpeas. So instead of the cookies that have a whopping 23 grams of sugar, zero sugar chickpeas. Three ingredients, chickpeas, oil, salt. They're crunchy. They taste like chips, but they also have fiber. They have protein. They have fat. It keeps you fuller longer. Or my other favorite, raw cashews. A lot of nuts have a lot of those oils. But nuts without oils are kind of dry, except for cashews, for raw cashews. They're really creamy and delicious. Now, to go with that, you want some water. So what I do, here's my little trick. So many sparkling waters, add some watermelon. For dinner, we have some chicken wings. Yes. Show us that. We're going to go to break. We'll put it on our website, kellyandryan.com. We'll be right back. Thank you, Dr. Mike.